here we go. We're dis we're leaving the Heritage Discovery route and heading on the Great Northern route. Here we go. <laughs> Going into a very remote junction 37. We're crossing the Skeena River and leaving the Yellowhead Highway finally and heading on Highway 37 North, also known as the Cassiar Highway. I am so excited about this leg of the trip. It's going to be really remote and this is the final section that's going to take me up to the Alaskan Highway. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's so much nicer to see a bear from the comfort of my rig than from my tent. <laughs> oh my god, that was so awesome. Bears next 40 kilometers. Oh my god, that was so cool. That was number six. I think that was six. Welcome to my first night on the Stewart Alaskan Highway in British Columbia. It's British Columbia Route 37 and it's going to take me up to Whitehorse. Uh, first I'm going to go to Stewart though. I decided that, uh, okay here's the thing. I left Hazleton a couple hours ago, been kind of just messing around. Uh, left Hazleton a couple hours ago. Drove towards Highway 37 and hit Kitwanga at the turnoff of 37. And I know I knew that this part of 37 was going to be extremely remote. So I asked the guy at the gas station how close the next gas station was. And he said six hours away. <laughs> and I'm like, <coughs> I think I just swallowed a bug. <coughs> There's a lot of gnats. So uh, trying to do the math really quick in my head. Six hours, how many miles, how many kilometers, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I better fill up. So 200 Canadian dollars uh, and it just barely filled me all the way up. So I'm about an hour. I'm about 50 miles outside of Kitwanga right now. Kitwanga. Quit, kit, no, what is it? Kitwanga. <laughs> I'm about 50 miles from Kitwanga. And I'm just on 37, which is, it says on here the Cassiar Highway, but the sign said the Stewart Alaskan Highway. And Stewart is a town right on, a little bit further west of Highway 37, right on the border of Alaska. And since the closest gas station right on the Highway 37, right on the Stewart Alaskan Freeway, is probably Iskit, which is probably at this point, uh, 
300 kilometers, I don't know, about 200 miles away. And I did fill up and I'm gonna be fine. I could totally make it to the next gas station. But I thought it would be fun to go into Stewart. Stewart has a gas station and it's right on the border. I'll be able to go into Alaska a little bit earlier than I planned up north past, uh, at Whitehorse actually. I think there's a Whitehorse is both Canada and Alaska. Okay, so beautiful night here, night one. And look at the view. Yeah, and ever, so I've been on this, on I've been on 37 now for about 50 miles, like I said, and there are tons of places to camp. I mean, I can't even tell you how many dozens of roads and pull-offs and turn-offs and even lakes and even recreation areas, little tiny, I pulled into one a couple miles down the road, it was a little tiny recreation area on a little tiny lake, and literally it was like so tiny, and there was a pickup truck and a couple already there, so I drove in, and there wasn't really any good place for me to park, so I decided not to stay there and then a couple miles up the road I found this spot and uh, no shortage of camping out here zero zero cell signal uh, I don't know I'm thinking I might go into uh, Alaska or I might go up to Stewart tomorrow is it really Hyder? I was thinking I might go up to Stewart tomorrow but I might stay here a day I'm kind of just taking my time at this point but yeah, this is my spot for the night. Before I move on, I'm, uh, what did it say, 760, I think it was 760 or something kilometers. There's a lot more traffic on this road than I expected. 760 kilometers still to uh, the Alaskan, the Alcan, I think, the Alaskan Canadian Highway. And I think that I picked that up in Yukon. I picked that up at Whitehorse. So I still have a long trek ahead of me. And I'm deciding, I'm realizing I need to get some miles down. I've been kind of uh, taking it easy. Like I said, just not excited about putting so much gas in the gas tank all at once and depleting my budget. And so I've really been taking my time and, uh, you know, like $50 here, $50 there, and then I drive and then I stay. But I need to start making tracks. I need to get up there. Capone's health certificate, for one thing, is going to expire. Uh, I'm in like a week and a half. I mean, I've already been here. I ended up staying in the Seattle area for a week and I didn't mean to, I shouldn't have, so that was a week wasted there and then I've already been here a week and a half. I am probably gonna go into Canada with that health certificate expired and I'm just gonna take my chances. Uh, the vest said sometimes they ask for it, sometimes they don't and I'm, I'm counting, since I'm just coming from Nevada, which my plates say, or California, depending, I don't really expect them to get Wow, look at the bugs. I don't really expect to have a problem. And even if the health certificate is just a couple days expired, I can't imagine that they would um, make me jump through hoops to get Capone in. But we'll have to see, and I'll share that with you and see how that goes. But yeah, I do need to start making some miles. And uh, so I'll probably just be here for the night. But in the meantime, check it out. Of all the spots I've seen along the way so far, this is definitely the prettiest. Phone's on a leash. Okay, there's a camp in there. There's a camp in there. And let's go look at the Stewart Alaskan Highway. What do you say? some dinner. Okay, day two on the Stewart Alaska Highway in British Columbia. You ready to go, bud? 
Ready to go? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful spa here. I got up. I worked for a couple hours on editing a video and I was like, well, maybe I'll just stay put. I'm not really in a hurry at this point. Uh, but I decided I'm going to move. I can't, there's no place to walk here. I can't walk on the uh, Stewart Alaska Highway. It's very narrow and cars just go too fast. So I can't walk there. And there are there's a couple game trails, but it's just not good walking. They're really bushy and uh, I don't know. I'm a little worried about walking on a game trail around here, I'll be honest. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to go up the road for a while. Maybe I can find there's been a lot of roads so maybe I can just find a road to go explore and at least just go get a walk in and uh, maybe even just drive until I find the next cool spot I'm driving towards Hyder Alaska I know that and I'm I'm like less than a hundred kilometers which is like 60 miles away so um, yeah I'm in no hurry let's hit the road and this is the highway that leads to Stewart and Hyder, Alaska. Oh my God. This is known as the Bear Glacier and the lake at the bottom is Strome Lake. Ice once filled all of the past, but in the 1940s, the glacier began to retreat and Strome Lake formed in the exposed basin. In 1967, Bear Glacier melted away from the valley wall and Strome Lake was no longer dammed. Since then, the glacier has continued to retreat.